<laughs> All right, everybody. So I've been trying to do this video for like two days now, but distractions keep happening. So it'll it'll show up when it's supposed to. So listen to the end because you will be inspired. If you're if you're not inspired, then you're not human. Okay. Well, we're not really human anyway. So, but anyway, so. This is a great story. It is a true story and it is my story. So today marks the 18th anniversary or yesterday, 18th anniversary that I've been doing this work as a spiritual teacher, channeler of healing, connecting people to higher self worldwide. Okay. 18 years I've been doing this work. Now, a little bit of a backstory. I was the black sheep. I was the one, I was the crazy person. I was the one that was seeing ghosts, angels, entities, uh, you know, uh, premonitions, telling people, having premonitions and then telling people. And then weeks later, months later, they come true, uh, especially world events. Um, so I was not only the black sheep, but I was the crazy guy. Okay. And not only was I the crazy guy, but from what I viewed, um, I was probably considered the biggest loser, uh, an addict, uh, that you can possibly get. Mostly the reason is I was not able to hold down a job. So here's the crazy person that cannot hold down a job. I must have gone through 25 jobs, um, maybe 30 jobs by the time I was 30. Okay. Now, the reason why was because this hamster on a wheel, this matrix system of the nine to five or 40, 50 or 60 hours a week uh, for some cooperation and you only have one or two days off a week and you're barely paying the bills anyway, this was literally killing my soul. So I jumped from one job to another to another. Despite what everybody said, despite everybody's criticism, despite everybody's judgment, I kept being me. And following here, something in my heart. I didn't have necessarily the light to follow. Um, that's another story. But I knew how to follow my path by what did not feel right in here. And I was not afraid to move on regardless of what anybody said. Okay. I didn't meet my first teachers until in my 30s. Um, I had a healing every two weeks. For over three years and then I had maintenance sessions every four to six weeks for many years so I've done a ton of work that's when I also was taught or was shown and guided why I had all of my abilities in the first place right this is what set me on the course to be the spiritual teacher and the channeler of healing okay 18 years I've been doing this work now I think if I listen to everybody Think if I didn't follow this. I bet on myself. And I was right. I won. I have over maybe 20 people I could mention that just vanished out of my life because I talked to ghosts and angels and stuff like that. I don't blame them. But when I made the decision to do this work full time, to be spiritual, right? I knew it was going to happen and the amount of people making fun of me or had been making fun of me and, and everything you have to deal with, with that, you have to be ready for it. You have to be ready to move on. Okay. Move into your truth, regardless of what people think. Okay. Are you willing to have that dedication? Because I can think of a lot of them, if not all of them, that are stuck working the nine to five jobs and the crazy one runs his own worldwide business that I created, that I invented, that I well co-created with my higher self. Okay. I didn't stop. Okay. 18 years of doing this work, but I haven't been full time. I've only been full time for about seven years. Right? I wasn't on social media until about seven years ago. You see? So I was just doing it by word of mouth, word of mouth around town, word of mouth. Then once I went on social media about seven years ago, that's when I went full time. Are you willing to go over a decade of being part time to make your spiritual business work, to make your dream come true? Are you that dedicated to yourself? 
Let me know what you think in the comments. Okay, I hope I covered everything. Much love to everybody.